myself dr deepak arya and uh, today we are talking about calcium and dogs and cats so firstly we'll talk about what are the functions of calcium in dogs and cats secondly we'll talk about what will happen if we underfeed calcium to our dogs thirdly we'll talk about what will happen if we overfeed calcium to dogs and uh, fourthly we'll talk about what is the exact requirement of calcium to our dogs and uh, at what age what amount of calcium should be given and i will tell you that how to calculate the dose so let's start the video and see that how this so firstly we'll talk about what are the functions of calcium in our body and what are the functions of calcium in dogs and cats so first function of calcium is bone formation second function of calcium in our body is uh, nerve conduction so these are two main functions which calcium performs otherwise there are a lot of functions small small functions which uh, now we'll talk about that what will happen if we underfeed calcium to our dogs well in that case osteoporosis and osteomalacia are the two main conditions which can happen in those cases uh, the bones becomes very light and uh, with a small jerk or if your dog jumps from small height even then they may catch fracture so these are the function are the this advantages of underfeeding calcium what will happen if you overfeed calcium to dogs well in that case kidney stones may develop your dog may develop kidney stones and the main salt which we find in the stones of dogs and cats is calcium oxalate and calcium oxalate as the name suggests it is because of calcium so don't overfeed calcium to your dogs as well what is the exact dose load of calcium to dogs we'll uh, help you understand with with this an example see in the growing stage of a dog he needs 100 mg calcium per kg body weight per day for example you are having a st bernard and uh, he is 7 uh, months old and uh, he is of uh, 30 kg so growing stage 30 kg body weight to so 30 into 100 it is 3000 so he needs 3000 mg calcium per day this is his requirement so this you can calculate from your tablet which you are having at your home let's take another example if you are having a chihuahua whose body weight is uh, say 1 kg so in that case 1 into 100 he needs 100 mg calcium per day so you can calculate from your tablet accordingly see if your tablet is of 500 mg and your dog's requirement is 3000 mg So that means three thousand divided by five hundred. It is six tablets per day. My maths is a bit weak, but we'll cope with it. Secondly, uh, if a dog requires only hundred mg calcium per day, as you are talking about Chihuahua, so in that case, uh, tablet is a bit tough task. So in that case, try to use uh, liquid calcium because it has lesser amount of calcium in it. And uh, when a dog has grown up. say uh, we are having a labrador of 4 uh, years of age so 4 years means labrador grows up to maximum of 18 months of age so if your labra is of 4 years of age and his body weight is say 30 kg so he requires 70 mg per kg body weight per day so that means 70 into 30 it's uh, 2100 mg calcium per day he requires so 2100 mg calcium is required so 2100 divided by 500 because we are having a tablet of 500 mg so this you need to check with your tablet also so this is the way you can uh, select the amount of calcium requirement by a dog so in growing stages your dog needs 100 mg per kg body weight per day in the normal life cycle after growing age when he is he has attained his adult weight body weight then at that time he requires 70 mg per kg body weight flat and uh, when he grows old say after 10 years of age then at that time again your dog requires 100 mg per kg body weight now here's the point suppose you are living in a place where you are not getting calcium and multivitamin tablets at your home in that case what you can do or you are not having a You vet there, or you're not having a pet shop. Well, in that case, 
something you must be feeding to your dog whether it is milk cheese or uh, whatsoever you are having at your home so or meat or chicken whatever you are feeding so in that case you need to check from google that uh, how much 100 grams of your particular food or uh, 100 ml of that particular liquid contains calcium amount so from that you can calculate and uh, you can uh, manage accordingly that how much calcium is required by the dog so i hope you have liked the video and uh, you have understood it in a better way now that how much is calcium is required by the dog now i hope that you will not go by the fact that uh, one tablet morning evening in just like layman all our viewers should be smart enough to understand that calcium is an important part and a specific dose rate is required at different stages of life cycle so if still you are having some problem then in that case you can message me your dog's age and uh, your dog's weight in my in my message box and i will tell you the exact dose rate of calcium required by a dog i will make a proper chart and i will send it back to you so i think uh, you are uh, what you are able to see my uh, email id it is uh, here it is here it is here so wherever you can see you can uh, mail me up and uh, message me up so i'll tell you the exact dose rate otherwise if you understood then it's good if you're not then rewind the video and watch again